Caddis Maximus here. This time with a review of the original Silverbrock Universal Nut Driver. I did a comparison of a Gator Grip socket in these couple of nut drivers. This is the Stanley Universal, and it's kind of interesting because it has multiple fingers, but it also has its kind of drawbacks. The same with this one that I showed earlier, which had concentric ring collars, but it had no branding on it. The only thing this had on it was a little Japanese stamp. What I recently found was this Silver Brock, if we get this to focus here, pretty distinctive S logo out of Springfield, Massachusetts. And this is the, I don't know if you can read that, sock o -matic. And this was patented. So I believe this to be the original concentric sleeve universal nut driver. Now this Silver Brock only goes to half inch, where this Japanese one will go to 9 16 However, I have to admit that the Silver Brock is a little bit tighter fitting when I compare it to the Japanese one. It is actually pretty nice. There's not a lot of play considering that I'm using a smallest size here. And that's kind of the deal with these. You just put them on and you don't have to worry about what size it is. These are a, and I've realized this over the time, great utility drawer drivers just because you can just take them, put them on, and you don't have to worry about grabbing different sizes, hunting. Ow! Holy smokes. There's a really sharp uh, burr on that. It's always nice when fasteners have nice little burrs like that. Real, na real nasty surprise there. So anyway, that's this kind of deal. You can just grab them, you can put them on. They're actually kind of almost easier to put on because you don't have to be perfectly aligned. You can be offset to the wrong size. And actually that worked. <laughs> I'm trying to specifically get it offset. But you can put it in wrong. And as soon as you turn it, it'll just kind of self-center until it finds the sleeve. That's the correct size. And that's kind of what I like about it. Even if you're not on center, you just wiggle it back and forth. And voila, you're now turning your fastener. And I think that's the big advantage. This does have a spinning sleeve as well as the spinning collar. So you can kind of put it on, force it, or hold it on tight and then be able to operate the handle. I think the one disadvantage where the Stanley has an advantage is this, the way the tines hold together on the Stanley. Once you get it on the, well, if you, you can still use it similar to those concentric sleeve type because you can just push it on. But once you do, you can actually yank this collar and this style will allow you to hold the fasten or hold the fastener kind of while you get it started. But it always wants to spring forward and kind of pop out just like these do. And the one thing I'll mention about this Japanese one versus this is this one is pretty shallow. It would just be a shallow well. All the space is used up by the various springs for these different collars or sleeves. Or on this Japanese one, it's actually through, so you can go down pretty long rods. This would essentially be a deep well or a hollow shaft nut driver version. So this one, even though I think it's uh, not quite as good as the original Sakomatic as far as tolerances, this Japanese one certainly has its place similarly designed with the spinning collar, except for it just will work on nuts that are down long shafts, where this only works on regular bolts. But that's the kind of the neat thing about these. And if you see one, especially one of these old American-made silver brocks, it'd be worth picking up. This is the type of thing that maybe electricians or some other technicians, uh, HVAC, where you're often working with those sizes, quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, those type uh, sizes, that something like this might just be the handiest thing because you, all you have to do is keep track of one single nut driver. And then since they do use a heavy steel outer wall, like a regular socket, they actually do hold up to a fair amount of torque. I guess the biggest caveat is if they rust and these sleeves get stuck together, so you have to keep them oiled. And once if the sleeves get really beat up, they'll want to get stuck. So having a higher quality unit that has better quality steel probably makes a difference and may explain why this old silver rock, besides maybe not being used that much, still works so well. I always thought these were kind of a neat idea, and it's kind of sad to have seen them go by the uh, wayside. But at least I have uh, an idea of who actually came up with this design and wanted to share it with y'all. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.